This is the ID Sonics i7000 Pro with 512 gigabytes. This is an NVMe SSD. We're gonna go ahead and unbox this and test this out on my motherboard and see what kind of speeds we get and whether or not it is gonna be reliable. So it comes in this really nice packaging. I'm really excited to see how this looks. Let's go ahead and open it up and see what we get inside. So right in the bottom, we're gonna have a nice user manual and openings up here. We're gonna notice the NVMe SSD right over here. All right, here is the NVMe SSD. It looks really nice. Now, one thing that's really unique about this is that they also are gonna give us a heat sink over here, which is pretty cool. Um, you're gonna notice that they have your thermal pads and this cool little heat sink cover here as well. So with this uh, heat sink here, this actually means that you can actually use this not only for your motherboard here, but in case if your motherboard does not have a heat sink cover, then you can use this, or maybe you can use it on your console as well. So this has a couple of couple of pieces here. We have the aluminum cover here. So the way this works is you have uh, thermal pads here and you would essentially remove the plastic film from the from both sides here and you would slide this in, you would put the the SSD just like this. You would slap another thermal pad again removing the plastic on each side. And then you would basically sandwich everything together here. Just like that. And you basically have a NVMe SSD with a heat sink, which is pretty cool. Now I'm going to install this on my motherboard, so I don't really need this. But I love the fact that they give you this alternative installation as well, in case you're using this for your console or straight to your motherboard. Of course, if you want to remove it, there's some tabs here that you could just basically push out and out comes it. All right, so here's my motherboard over here. We're gonna attach the SSD. We're gonna attach to the socket right over here. So we're gonna grab our ID Sonics SSD. And we're going to position it, matching the notch in an angle, just push it in. And now that it's slightly in, depending on your motherboard, this one has like an easy screw here. So I just have to screw this little tab in just like that and then you would apply the heat sink cover for your motherboard now if you don't have this at all then you can use the heat sink cover that's provided inside the box so i'm going to position this covering this to make sure it has the heat dissipated all right now that we have the heat sink cover let's go ahead and test out the speeds of this drive all right so i've created a new drive letter d and as you can see with 512 gigabytes you're going to be left with 477 gigs so let's go ahead and run the test here all right so after running the test here we're going to see a nice read speeds of 7300 megabytes per second with a write speed of 5085. all right so to give you a real world example here i have a folder here that has 127 gigabytes uh, filled with images and a lot of video and we're going to transfer it to the ID Sonics 512 gigabyte SSD so let's go ahead and hit transfer and see what speeds that we're gonna get and as you can see 127 gigs we have about 30 seconds it is going super fast we're getting about three gigabytes per second which is awesome it is going super fast All right, and we're getting closer to the finish line here with just about 10 seconds. And as you can see, 127 gigabytes took less than a minute, which is phenomenal. I mean, this is freaking awesome. With speeds like that, it makes it perfect for gaming and content creation, just like myself. So this is awesome. And overall, I'm really happy with the results of this ID Sonics SSD drive. So if you're looking for something that has value, then definitely check out this i7000 Pro SSD. I love the fact that it comes with an included heatsink for more versatility and how you want to use this. And overall, it's a great pick. Firewolf out.